when you add integers, integers are positive and negative whole numbers. Basically, think of this as three bad, oops, three good, two bad. Three good, two bad. Who's going to win? Who has more? The good. the good. Because basically these cancel out, leaving you one good. In your head, just think of it, you have, you have positive and negative, you have good and bad. What's going to happen? What's left? And number two, who has more, the good or the bad? bad? The bad guys have more. There's four bad, three good. Who's going to win? The bad, guys. the bad guys, because these cancel. You have a negative one left. This one. Who's going to win? Pretty obvious. Is there going to be any battle? No. They're just like, you have chilling here. Four bad. Two more bad. There's just nothing happening. Just six, six bad people just chilling. And the last one. Who's going to win? The good guys are. Because if you look at this one, one, two, three, four, five, five bad, but boom, 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 boom. How many good? Seven. And you could tell right there what's left? Two. Now, are drawing these plus or minuses smart to do whenever all the time when you do it? No, especially if you had 50. <laughs> you know, uh, you gotta learn to do it without them. But they're a tool to visualize, a tool to think about what's happening. Now, this can be pretty easy. But with subtraction, that's where it gets screwy and weird and messes people up. So, when you subtract, you need to think of this as 5. A minus means you add, change minus to add, and what's the opposite of negative 2? Isn't the opposite of negative 2 positive 2? You change the minus to an add, and then the opposite of negative 2 is positive 2. So that then is real easy. What's 5 plus 2? You should know that in 7. <laughs> the negatives disappeared. Okay. How about this one? Well, that's negative 1, and we change that minus to a plus. And that 3 is a what? Okay, they change that to a plus. That's a positive 3, so we're going to change it to a negative. negative 3. So looking at that, we have that minus becomes a plus, and that 3 becomes a negative 3. So basically, that's saying negative 1 plus negative 3. So negative 1 and negative 3. Is there a conflict? No. no. You just have four negatives just chilling. Four negatives. Four negatives. This one. Well, that's going to be negative four plus what? What's the opposite of negative three? Positive three. Again, the minus becomes a plus. You change whatever that is. Who's going to win? Don't the bad guys win? Because how many more do they have? One. one. And the last one, negative 5 plus what? That's negative 5 plus 2 or negative 2? Because you change basically that to a plus, and then that becomes two positive 2 becomes a negative 2. That's negative 5 and negative 2. So negative 5, negative 2. Looks like I got seven negatives. Okay, so you have adding, you have subtracting. Mm -hmm. I actually put positive. And number three. Ooh, thank you, thank you. 
This one should be negative one? Good. Thank you. Because that's a negative one. Good observation. Okay, so adding, subtracting, and then you have multiplying. Yes? Between two and three. You, this one is saying negative one and negative three. Negative one and negative three. Okay? This one's saying negative one, but then this minus here means it's saying change the sign. Okay? Um, this is negative one. You make that into a plus. That positive three becomes a negative three. Here, this becomes a plus, so that negative 3 becomes a positive 3. Basically, you make it a plus and you change the sign. We'll talk about it more. I will repeat it later. Here, on multiplying integers, completely different story. Basically, what's 3 times 7? The answer is 21, but it's 21 negative or 21 positive. Which one is it? Negative. If one of these is a negative, the answer is negative. Multiplying pretty easy. Here, the answer is 20, but is it negative or positive 20? It's positive 20 because if they're both negative, the answer is positive. Or here, the answer is 24, but negative or positive? Negative. Negative. Because remember, if one of these two numbers is negative when you multiply, the answer is negative. So again, when multiplying, if one of them's negative, the answer is negative. If they're both negative, the answer is positive. If they're both positive, is that obvious? The answer is positive. No. Again, these are completely different rules. These up here, you have to deal with the plus or minus or good guy, bad guy. These are just simple rules.